Next, here is an interview with the new NWF champion, Ace, uh, kissing his belt. How do you feel to be the new champion? Um, I told you before the show today that we, I was going to take it over, and of course I did. You saw it right here. So, you know, Andrew Carlson uh, joined the league in 1985. Now, he was brought into the, into the show by Kid Kelsey, Matt Kelsey, which was his good friend. The first show he came on in 1985, he actually wrestled in a mask, and he was called the Russian Destruction. It was our first Russian character. And uh, that lasted all but one show, because the following week, Andrew started to wrestle as Andrew Carlson, as Ace Andrew Carlson, or Ace was his name. He was given that nickname by Kid Kelsey. Matt Kelsey's the one who came up with the name for him. And, you know, it's funny, that nickname Ace has stuck with Andrew through the years. He still goes by that nickname. Um, that was what we called him. And, you know, his style was very, he's like a perfectionist type style. I thought he was too good for for the league. That was kind of the image we were going after. Here's the problem with Andrew, though, what I noticed straight away. Andrew was pretty popular in school. Popular kid, well-liked, liked by the girls. And he was supposed to be a heel on the show, and he wanted to be a heel. Well, you can't be a heel when you're liked, well liked, and had that personality. It wasn't uh, so he just wasn't. He had that that look that and, and that reputation at school just wasn't going over with the kids that watched. So me and Crusher Crossin, being that I'm Crusher Crossin, and being that I was the most popular on the show and I've been on the show from day one, and everybody liked Crusher, I figured the way to put him over and to get him to be a heel is to let him beat me for the title, and that'll just annoy. Everybody. Ring. Round of five call. goes for the pin. Three. And Ace won the match. Two. Look at that. Ace is the new heavyweight champion of the NWF. So that's what I did. Now, nobody knows this. Everybody, you know, because back then our title matches were shoot matches. You know, we were really going at it in the ring to see who was going to win a title match. That's kind of how they were done. But in my case, I basically let him win. And I did it intentionally, and I did it for the league. It was just, I felt it was the best thing to do for the league. A, it would make a change for chemistry, give a little spice to the show, give somebody else the belt, have him, you know. I figured that by letting him beat me, it's just going to right, you know, ruffle the feathers of everybody, and it did. Our NWF hotline was ringing off the hook after that show aired, demanding that we have a rematch between Crusher Cross and an Ace. People, so it worked, and it instantly put him into heel status, So I and I knew it would. So that's why I did that, and I, uh, you know, he made a great champion, Andrew did. He He really did. When you think of Ace, you think of NWF champion, and he, because he had the belt for most of 1985, and uh, great guy outside the ring. Great, uh, Andrew was a great friend to me back then. I mean, he really was nice guy, so easy to get along with, um, and yeah, he he had a lot of fun. I mean, on the show, he he really he really put a lot of effort into the show for what he did for his character with Ace, and. Um, for 1985, that was definitely, 1985 was definitely the year of Andrew Carlson. I mean, Ace was the guy in the NWF. And, you know, Ace, you can thank the five-timer for that because I'm the one that kind of let it happen by letting him get the title. Yeah. <laughs> Could Ace have beat me for real? Good luck with that, my friend. I, I think I could have handled Ace in the ring if I wanted to. I just thought it would be good for the show to let him have the title. It just made sense at the time. So that's what we did. You know, in, in 1985, then, Ace was getting a little tired of it, and he wanted a break, and he just wanted to get away. He, you know, had his fill with the NWF and just wanted to do other things. No hard feelings at all. He just wanted to, you know, step away. And, um, of course, we always thought he would come back. He never really did. Um, I kind of wished he would have. He was, he was a great character on the show. And, uh, but no, and after 1985, towards the end, that was the end of Ace. But... For that time period, he had a hell of a good run. Ace is waste. 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 Ace is wa